got a gym membership. Uh, I found like a Groupon deal. So I'm only going to be paying for like just one month uh, for $13.50. Cannot freaking beat that deal. So, yeah, it even includes like a personal trainer session, but I don't know. I don't know if I need that. I just need access to some some good equipment, some machines, and you know, maybe run the treadmill. What's up, guys? What's going on? It is Tuesday. I'm heading to work. Uh, I finally broke through my damn plateau. I was uh, 298 for like a full week and I just hit 294 like that, guys. Pretty freaking awesome. Um, on my way down now, man. Uh, my, my new goal is I want to hit 250 by December, so we're going to keep working at it. If I can do any workouts today after work, I will. So, hell oh, yeah. Be nice to kitty. Yeah, you gotta be nice. You guys gotta be nice and play nice like nice animals. <laughs> that's not very nice. Jeez. That's not nice. Did you want to go in, Angel? <laughs> oh, this is funny. What is going on? Angel, you gotta be nice to her. You gotta be nice. She just wants to play. <laughs> What's up guys, what's going on? Got my subway on. It's lunchtime. Freaking, um, got a gym membership. Uh, I found like a Groupon deal. So I'm only gonna be paying for like just one month uh, for $13.50. Cannot freaking beat that deal. So, yeah, it even includes like a personal trainer session, but I don't know. I don't know if I need that. I just need access to some some good equipment, some machines, and you know, maybe run the treadmill. <laughs> I'm gonna work out tonight after work, and then also like in the morning before work. I'm gonna try to get up at like 4 a.m. Uh, it's gonna be freaking rough, but if I do it for like a straight week, I'll get used to it. Uh, I was talking to a guy earlier. He's kind of older guy, like you know, I think he's 50 or whatever. And he said he tried that once and then he was tired all day, but I think you gotta do it more than just once. Like, literally, you gotta do it like a full week straight. And it's hard, but you just gotta do it. And then you feel better, you have more energy for your day, and you sleep better at night. You know, there's so many benefits to it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna really get serious about the workouts. We're down uh, nine pounds as of yesterday morning. Nine pounds from where I started at 303 pounds after my injury. You know, I've been zigzagging for a while, like a long, long time ago. Years ago, I hit 310, and then last year I got down to 250, and then, you know, put on weight over the winter. So I was probably about 280, 290, whatever. And then I lost, like, probably at least 30 pounds, so I was probably close to 250 again. And then I got injured and it hit 303. And so now we're down nine pounds. We're at a 294. So we're back on that grind, guys. We're gonna kick some ass. So yeah, I'm excited to try this gym out. I'm gonna actually work out as soon as I get off, man. I'm gonna rush over there and uh, get a workout. And they're probably gonna wanna hook me up with like the trainer. And the trainer like walks me around for like an hour and I just, like, nah, that's not what I want to do today, but maybe another day. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, man. I just want to hit up the weights and and uh, maybe run their treadmill today. Get some fitness on, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, also, guys, I want to, like, work on the, my uh, blog, um, homefitnesscommand.com. I want to work on that. And uh, so I'm going to have to write some, some more articles. i uh, got to find the time to do so. It's hard, but I'm going to try to try to find the time. <sighs> but yeah. It's all going to be good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eat my Subway, guys. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later. 
What's up guys, what's going on? I'm getting really eager to get out of here and go work out at the gym. I've got my energy, it's up, and I'm ready to maybe do a little running. Well, I don't know about running, but some fast walking and hit some weights, hit some weight machines. Kinda excited about it. Uh, I was really gonna do the Planet Fitness thing, but then I went and checked it out, and it's like, yeah, it's $10 a month, but they want a $50 initiation fee. And then they want like a $50 annual fee. So it's not as awesome as I thought. So I don't know if I'll be uh, going there after all, but I'm gonna try this this new gym. It's kind of a local gym, it's 10 minutes down the road. So it's basically on the way home and it's on the way to work. What up guys? I am heading to the gym, just got off work. I lost motivation and then when I put my gym clothes on, I regained my motivation. So I'm ready to go, pump some iron. Run a little bit on the treadmill. Kind of pumped to check out this new gym. I hope it's nice because it's like right on the way to work, to and from work. So, oh yeah, and check it out. Got a mile. <sighs> All right, guys. I got the workout in. I got a. Sorry, I did a mile over over a mile on the treadmill, and the last part of the mile I ran about 5.5 miles an hour not very fast but it was like a fast jog almost like a run i'm trying to take it easy on my knees though but yeah you know i like running but we're gonna get back to full-on running soon but yeah i did over, over a mile on that on the treadmill hit uh like how many weight machines i'm gonna say maybe just three three different weight machines i did the one where you like grab the bar above you and you pull down like this you know like this and it pulls all the weights so I did that one and uh, whew, freaking legs itching I did that one like a whole bunch of times with like I think 120 pounds and then I did the I did the one where you put I put 120 pounds and I did like a press like this and it pushes the weights up so I did that one a whole bunch of times at 120 and then I did uh man, my leg is itchy I gotta get some lotion on it I got this special lotion for it it actually really helps kind of promote skin growth and makes it less itchy anyway um so this other machine I did was like kind of like uh you grab the the deal here and then you have like a kind of like a deal that goes in front of your like your legs and then you basically push up with your legs and pull this bar down and go into like a crunch position I did that with like 80 pounds I did that a whole bunch of times <sighs> yeah felt pretty good man I can feel the I feel the burn in the muscles and I, I could feel my heart rate going so kicked ass today and tomorrow morning I'm gonna try to come back here and do the same thing uh, probably be here if, if I make it I gotta make it I gotta do this there's no ifs ands or buts I'm gonna try to be here at 5 30 a.m. 5 30 a.m. and if I can be here you know 5 30 I can put in an hour workout and that leaves me half hour to get to work but it's only like 10 minutes to work from here so I think that's a good idea I'll be here in the morning, 5.30, bright and early. Means I gotta wake up at like 4 a.m. I can do this though, damn it, I can do this. <sighs> anyway, I'm driving home now, so. All right. So yeah, guys, that gym, uh, I like it a lot. It's just, uh, the my favorite machine was taken when I was there. And I came at a busy time, so that's probably gonna happen every time I come around that time. So, hopefully, like, when I come at 5.30, that machine is open. The machine I'm talking about, I really don't know the name of it, but it's freaking awesome. It's like, you got a handle and a cable with this hand, and you're pulling weights, and then you got a handle and a cable with this hand, and you're pulling weights. If you guys could tell me what the name of that machine is, that is my ultimate favorite machine. Uh, you, could also, you can also connect, like, cables to your legs with that machine as well. Uh, but anyway, I love that. I love it so much. Like I like to, I like to like uh, see here. But I, my favorite move with that machine 
is when you, you bring the cables and you crisscross the arms. So you're pulling weights and crisscrossing arms, pulling weights, crisscrossing arms, like that. It's freaking amazing. Like, I love that. The feeling of it, it just, it's awesome. It works uh, so much muscle there. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. I wore myself down. That's a good thing, though. I'm going to sleep good tonight for sure. Uh, one thing, you know, I'm going to... I want to, like, be more... Um, better with my hygiene. So, like, I want to shower more often, more frequent. So, possibly, you know, at least once every day. Uh, at the minimum. Uh, like, I was, like, kind of, like, doing it, like, every other day or whatever. And, like, fuck, it's hot out here. I'm sweating. Man, I'd be stinking if I don't shower every day, right? So, I want to be, like, really good at that. Just shower every freaking day. Probably the end of the day. Um, after work or after the gym workout at the end of the day. Every day. Now I'll feel fresh. I'll feel better about myself, you know? I think it's important. I gotta do some shaving. I know, but you know what the problem is? Is my freaking razor that I have is like dull as shit. And I keep forgetting to buy one. Um, man. Maybe I'll stop at the gas station on the way home and see if they have one. But then, you know, they probably get some cheap shit. That's the problem. Like, I want, like, the good one. So maybe I better just hold out the good one at the grocery store or maybe I'll stop by there tomorrow although although guys I could stop by Walmart on the way home there's a Walmart on the way home I could hit that get like a few groceries that I need you know which I was gonna get tomorrow just get them today tonight and get that razor so I can get my nice clean shave on you know what I'm saying maybe that's a better idea huh man I got a lot of energy today guys I'm freaking going I love them workouts, man. Just motivate you. And most of it, what motivates me is the, you know, the adrenaline, the high that I get from working out, and then, like, the weight loss, of course. Uh, and just feeling skinnier uh, and feeling more energetic. A lot of that is has to do to the, the healthy eating, you know? So, yeah. It all freaking, it's like a chain reaction, man. When you do a bunch of bad shit, you feel like shit. And when you do a bunch of good shit, and you eat a bunch of good shit, you feel good. You know? That's just like, hey, what a concept, you know? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing, man. I'm, I'm trying to eat clean no matter what. And, uh, yeah. I'm keep pushing hard on the workouts and keep increasing and doing more and more weight and more reps. Uh, run the treadmill longer, you know? I don't know, like, I don't know what I want to become, guys, but I, 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 like, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a big fucking bodybuilder, like, massive ass arms, but now I was, like, I'm thinking, like, I want big arms, I want arms that are big enough to where everybody's like, Jesus, dude, you know, but at the same time, I want to be, I want speed, I want endurance, I want to be, like, a fucking heavyweight UFC fighter, you know what I mean? That's what I want to look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe even better shape, god damn it. Frickin' aiming for better. Uh, god damn, I want to be like the super-sized version of Conor McGregor or some shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I might be old, but fuck it. I can do it. I can do it before I'm fucking 40. I could be like that. If I push hard enough, guys. Mark my words, man. I'm going to be in insane shape. Like, no tap. I'm going crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, because I'm obsessive compulsive, I'm gonna make this my addiction, guys. Both the eating healthy and working out hard, that's my addiction. And anytime I think about, like, eating unhealthy, I'm gonna be like, nah, because you'll feel bad about yourself, so I can't do that, you know? Every once in a great freaking while, there's a cheat meal allowed, but uh, I don't, I don't see one in the, in the near future. No, man, I gotta stay clean for a while. <sighs> I gotta keep it clean. Guys, I'm at Walmart. They got my favorite wrap. Look at these snakes right here. Check it out. Mmm. I'm looking pretty good. So, got myself the raspberry pure leaf. This is something to drink around the house. It's not too caffeinated. And then I got 
mozzarella cheese instead this time. My girlfriend said that it's more healthier, so I got it. I think it would be a better, better way to go, maybe. Look at that, they got bang energy shots. This has got to be a hell of fun. <laughs> So I got my groceries guys and I got to the car and I totally forgot why I even came there was to get a damn razor so I got one. Uh, so hopefully this one works. It's the Bic Flex 4. Hopefully that's good enough. Um, I'm sure it's better than the cheap ones. Cause like I paid like six dollars for it, so I don't know. Comes with a uh, like four blades or four four different sets of blades or whatever you call it. So that's cool. But yeah, to be clear on like the whole hygiene thing, guys. So like I used to like be a shower every day guy, but then when I got injured, I was not showering as often because my bandages would you know have to be changed afterwards every freaking time I shower so I would skip a day and sometimes I'd even skip two if I wasn't even doing anything if I was just at the house I would skip like two uh, but yeah um, so now that my bandages are off I'm kind of like still in I'm still in the habit of just every other day and I'm like no nah, no nah, nah, that is not gonna fly so every day back to shower every day and be nice so fresh and so clean and tonight I'm gonna shave all this up. I don't know, should I get rid of this or not? I know my girl doesn't like the beard, but like I always like the beard. I don't know, man. Sometimes I do things that I like, you know? So I might keep it going, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> all right, uh, anyway, I'm almost home, guys. I'm probably gonna get home and cook up them steaks like right off the bat and uh, Let's see here. Got to do a video edit for Gizmo Guy. That's like every day. It's like an extra chore for me. Uh, but it's all right. You know, he's paying me to do that. Um, you know, I'm giving him seven videos a week. Uh, basically four weeks a month uh, for $40. Yeah, I should probably talk to him about that. So basically I'm doing uh, 28 videos. A month yeah how's that work guys there's like 30 or 31 days in some months okay yeah some months have more than four weeks that's why that's why I get it yeah all right never mind haha <laughs> dumb question <laughs> anyway uh, yeah so I should talk to him about that uh, because I'm gonna be probably working for that other company too and there's going to be too much weight on my shoulders. So I don't know. I might talk to him about doing maybe less videos. And keep it the same price maybe. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. We'll see. I got to talk to him though. Because yeah. Uh, for how many I'm doing. It's, it's, it's a lot for for a little. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I should probably uh, talk to him about that. Uh, but it was, it was the deal that I offered. And. Like, that was when I was, like, I don't know, really just wanting to get as many people to hire me as possible. Plus, I didn't know, like, I was going to be, like, doing re-uploads and stuff. Uh, mainly, like, the package is for just SEO and a thumbnail. So, like, when, when a video is already on a YouTube channel and I just go through and, you know, tweak with the title if it needs it, tweak with the description if it needs it tweak with the keywords and make a thumbnail like that's quick but when you do a re-upload and like I'm doing the I'm doing re-upload and then um a small amount of edit not much I usually got like just the end end template that goes at the end of his videos and then I render that and that doesn't take too long but then you know I gotta upload and then I gotta set it to schedule and then you know a lot of times I'm creating an entire title um, so I just uh, there's more keyword research involved when you're creating an entire title 
whereas like a title could be already created and then you could just maybe modify it or just leave it alone you know so I don't know so yeah what I'm trying to say is that I'm doing extra and I don't know gotta talk to him oh man anyway it looks like somebody's broke down on the side of the road changing a tire damn it's hot out there, dude. It's like 90 outside, and that dude's on the side of the road changing a tire. That sucks. <laughs> God darn it. Uh, glad that's not me. I've been there before. I know what it's like. Oh, God damn. Anyway, uh... Oh, shit. So, like, I've been following, um... You know, Fousey, too. He's been working out a lot. Um, training for his, uh, boxing fight that's coming up coming out really soon it's gonna be fighting a guy named slim like slim akbar or whatever his name is i think it is you know what i turned on the wrong road how the hell did i do that guys <laughs> i need to make a church somewhere i wonder where this road ends up let's find out should we find out Fuck. i feel like i'm gonna get lost though if i do that maybe i should turn around Anyway, Fousey's uh, fighting uh, Slim Akbar. It might be this road. Shit. Is it this road? It might be this road. I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and say it's this road. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'm getting off track. Fousey's uh, fighting Slim Akbar. And uh, Slim's a real skinny, tall guy. And... Uh, like not very much muscle and then Fousey's like, you know, he's got some guns on him and uh, Yeah, so anyway, he's been trying training hardcore a lot of people are talking shit to Fousey uh, He's talking shit back and some guy like some hater like come up to his gym wanting to spar him, right? And he's like, nah, you know, you're not gonna spar me because I just I'm a beginner or whatever uh, but you can spar uh, my the guy that's training him, basically, his trainer. He gets borrowed my trainer, he says, and, uh, fucking, uh, he's like, alright, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, this trainer is like a freaking professional boxer, dude. And he just, like, kicked the shit, or punched the shit out of him. It was, it was hilarious. Oh, man. I'm about to find out if I made a right turn or not. Ha! Huh? I think I'm coming up to the road I want to be on. I don't know how I missed my turn. That was really stupid. Let's find out. Mm. Yeah, I did it. I freaking did it, y'all. I am a freaking genius. <laughs> anyway, I'm almost home, guys. I'm going to jam some music on the way home here. So I just did the math, and... Um the videos that I'm doing for Gizmo Guy, I'm doing them at two dollars a video. Like, yeah, I gotta change my price. I think like, cause I'm not doing full on edits. I'm thinking, I don't know. I want to be nice to him, cause he's cool and all. But I don't know. Not like a lot of editing. There's just basically downloading his video, which is not very hard, and then. Um, rendering it and then uploading and then yeah the keywords titles descriptions thumbnail everything and then scheduling it for a time i don't know two dollars for all that seems too cheap so i'm gonna have to increase what do you guys think anyway um let's see here i'm gonna go ahead and probably get my my steaks cooking here oh tired <laughs> and here's Kago. He wants it. Crazy dog. Doggy, that's crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> the bubble. Another thing, guys. The darn mail person. Um, I ordered things on Amazon. I ordered soap. And I ordered dog food. I ordered this on, like, Sunday, I think it was. And, um... The soap was supposed to come on, I think it was Tuesday, and the dog food was supposed to come on Monday, that's right. And 
they didn't deliver it and they left a note saying couldn't deliver it because driveway was blocked now my driveway is like never blocked so i don't know what they're talking about and i'm just frustrated they didn't deliver keiko's dog food and they still have it that was monday it was supposed to happen monday and here it is wednesday and they still haven't delivered it and so I'm getting frustrated. I think they expect me to go to the post office to go pick it up. And it's like, I ordered on Amazon for a reason because I didn't want to have to go to a store and get it. Now I've been to two stores where I could have just bought it since then. So I'm a little frustrated with the post office. Driveway is never blocked. Better deliver my darn package. Damn it. They don't deliver the package. Keiko is going to bite them. That's what he will do. Keiko will bite them if they don't deliver the package. <laughs> God darn it. Here we go guys, nice and thin. Mmm, these are gonna be good. And barbecue sauce. Um, I'm not a, a big fan of it. It's kind of got a different taste, but I ran out of the other barbecue sauce. I like the Sweet Baby Ray's. It's just uh, I'm not sure about this Hawaiian flavor. I don't know, but I'll put a little bit on because that's all I got, and I gotta use it anyway. So here we go. Boom. Go. We, we got it in there. We got it set to 350. We're gonna put it for about, yeah, we're gonna check it 30 minutes, see where we're at. And well, I'm still standing, I might as well make my lunch right now before that gets hard to do later. Cooked them. Damn. Go, guys. That's dinner. So my twenty dollars worth of steaks are a little burnt, but uh, I think they're still edible, so I'm gonna eat them. Looks like a decent meal, anyway. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and shave a little bit. Just took a shower. Feeling all fresh. mustache hell yeah 
What's up, guys? What's cracking? I managed to get myself a bloody dose this morning. Uh, it's like a non-stop one, too. It's really annoying. Uh, I've been through, like, fucking 2,000 tissues. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, and I spilled... I was on the way out to the door... Out, out the door, and I spilled, uh, coffee... I guess I had this coffee mug with coffee in it for, I don't know how long it's been there, probably for months and months, I don't know, <laughs> it was gross, and it looked like maggots came out of it, I'm not even kidding guys, like holy shit, so I had to clean that up, I couldn't just leave that on the floor and go to work, so I did that, damn it, freaking sucks, <laughs> but you know, shit happens, right, um, I was gonna do, uh, was going to do the gym workout this morning, but uh, I woke up at 4.20, about 4.20 a.m., and I was just so tired and sore, like all my muscles are sore, because I worked out so hard yesterday after work, you know, I mean, that's a lot to work a full day at work, and then work out after work, but my body ain't used to it yet, so uh, I know I said no matter what, I'm going to do it, but uh you know, I just, I'm thinking logically about it, like, what could I possibly do at the gym when my arms are hurting and almost dead, and, um, I kind of, like, got, like, little blisters on my feet, <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'm not gonna be running, I'm not gonna be hitting the weight, so, uh, you know what, that doesn't even sound fun, so, uh, I skip it a day, and I'm gonna try to do it in the morning tomorrow, that's what I want to do, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna kick some ass, hell yeah. I just want to know, what's the deal with people, like, when you, um, like, I come to this spot where, like, one car goes, and then another car goes, it's like a fucking one lane, uh, area under a bridge, uh, we both freaking arrive at the same time, right, I flash the lights, and the dude doesn't go, he wants me to go, what is the freaking deal with that, like, dude, once someone flashes the lights, just go, why are you gonna make things more freaking awkward and make everybody wait longer and more confusing it's like come on just go fuck <laughs> drives me crazy uh. check this out guys look at this it's plumbing uh, lines to the septic tanks and they're like fully exposed in the ground pretty cool some serious work going on here I just I'm delivering a, kind of a package over here and then I saw all this shit, and I'm like, man, I got a video of this. <laughs> Holy shit. A lot of work going on here. Yeah, never actually seen the tanks in the ground like that, so that was pretty cool. So that's the type of stuff they do on the construction crew of my company. They do a little more uh, bigger jobs. It's pretty cool. We got the competition over there do, running their vector truck. It's a different company. Well, that's what I do a lot of times. You know, when I'm back to full duty. Sucking shit out of a hole. So you got that view of Mount Rainier. You see it above the trees. There's a better shot of it, guys. Pretty cool view of the mountain. <sighs> Doing a, a lap around the track here. Um, boss basically said I should do like, do it at least like five times a day. Cause I've been just like sitting in a chair cleaning fittings and it's boring and I fall asleep and it's not really healthy to just sit in a chair. So I'm breaking it up by doing laps once in a while. So that's cool. And I'm getting my, my steps up. I found this little car while I was walking around the track. And I gave it to my boss, and I said, hey, here's, here's a present, man. <laughs> I'm going to wash this car for him. <laughs> All right. Kato Doggy, he's happy I'm home. Are you happy I'm home? Are you? That's my doggy. What do you got there? Is that a toy? Oh, what do you got there? <laughs> my good boy yeah so just got home guys it is thursday night and uh whew, i'm freaking tired been pushing myself all day just to make it through the day 
Got me a little bit of groceries here. Oh, yeah. Got some veggies. This one's a, this is a broccoli, carrot, cauliflower, with lightly cheese sauce. Mm. And then, you know, I had to get a bunch of potatoes, so I got like the regular one. Bunch of them. Got the sour cream one. Boom. Yes. <sighs> got our dressings for our wraps. And we got the teriyaki sauce. That of course is for my my chicken. We got the chicken right here, chicken tenders, boneless. More cheesy veggies. And we got pork chops. And more salad. Oh, and Nutri-Grain bars for snacks. Making lunch for tomorrow, there's wrap number one. And we got wrap number two. Okay, we got our lunch for tomorrow. There we go guys, dinner of champions. We got our almond milk. We got uh, leftover steaks, uh, potatoes. And then we have our mixed veggies with cheese. It's gonna be pretty yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one off. Appreciate you guys. Uh, tomorrow morning, I will work out in the morning, Friday morning. You can count on that. And we'll be uh, talking about it in the next vlog. But 100%, we're working out in the morning. Hell yeah. Be sure to smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And comment down below if you would. Share on your social media. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Peace out. Mm -hmm.